we found out that our graduation ceremony was going to be virtual. It's a rite of passage St. Petersburg High School senior Mira Kowalski fears she won't have. We just want the opportunity to, you know, move our tassel across and uh, walk across the stage. As schools and universities prepare to say farewell to their seniors in the midst of a global pandemic, some institutions are opting for virtual graduation ceremonies. Congratulations. <laughs> Currently, the Pinellas County School District is planning a traditional in-person graduation for later this summer. But if that's not possible, a virtual ceremony will be held as an alternative. It was such an abrupt ending to our senior year, and I think that's why virtual graduation was even harder to wrap my head around. It would just really be devastating to have that online sitting like in your bed on the couch. Kowalski, who plans to attend Vanderbilt University in the fall, has created a petition on change.org pushing for another solution. I created a petition uh, to reach out to Dr. Grego, the superintendent of Pinellas County Schools. Um, basically asking to postpone the graduation ceremony. Now nearly 5,000 signatures later, Kowalski's hoping to appeal to the Pinellas County School Board. I think that a graduation is such a is an event that is so big that it deserves to be held no matter the date. And I know we'll, we'll all be back uh, probably in December. And I personally would be fine with a December graduation, just something in person and with family and friends around. In Pinellas County, Serafina Brooks, 8 on your side.